Yes, uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. My name is Kartika from the Biology Factor Research Group at the University Jember, East Java, Indonesia. Uh, our presentation today will focus on using the DNA barcode, uh, which is ITS2, to identify a potential dengue vector, they are ITS IJPT, from Sumbersari, Jember, Indonesia. As we all know that the dangerous animal on earth is not shark or lion uh, or the other scariest animal, but they are actually uh, mosquitoes. This is related to the ability of this mosquito to transmit the pathogen such as dengue virus. This virus uh, caused the dengue hemorrhagic fever which is uh, known as the one of the public health threat in the world. Jember has been categorized as an endemic area of dengue because of dengue fever outbreak annually, especially in the Sumbersari sub-district. The existence of this factor significantly determines the level of spread of the disease as a uh, you can see here how female uh, mosquito, uh, they will uh, get the pathogen, pathogen from the blood meal process from an infected person. And then they will then transmit uh, the pathogen that they carry it into another person or even people, which was uh, previously, previously actually healthy, but then infected uh, by the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Uh, the treatment so far is more into the symptomatic treatment at, uh, at the moment vaccine development is still in the final stage of a clinical trial and not yet readily available in the market. Therefore, factor control strategy is a very important measure to control this disease. Uh, high genetic variability of the factor increase the factorial capacity to carry dengue pathogen and to transmit the disease from uh, one uh, person to people. And uh, it is important uh, to know and to do the correct identification of the factor to, de to determine its genetic uh, variability of this uh, disease factor in an endemic area. The simplest way to identify the mosquitoes uh, especially on that mosquito is by morphological base identification. For example, using several features like head and then uh, the white scales and then from the proboscis as well as from wings. Uh, however, for example, like uh, mosquito scales, this uh, white scale uh, mosquito, uh, can be easily rubbed off or can be easily damaged, uh, damaged during the sampling process. Another uh, problem is the wide diversity of the mosquito factors, especially uh, we know as the siblings and also the uh, species complex, uh, which contain individual with overlapping uh, morphological uh, identity. This uh, further uh, make the morphological based identification a complex problem. Uh, therefore, using a molecular marker, in this case, the DNA, which are known as the DNA barcoding, is a very important to finally confirm the identity of this factor. One of the commonly used uh, DNA barcoding for mosquito is IPS2. That is why uh, the objective of our research uh, in this presentation is its 2 based molecular identification of the potential dengue factors in Sumbersari, Jember, Indonesia. So um, there are several methods that we use in our study. Uh, of course, after mapping location, we will do a mosquito sampling by landing collection. And then after landing collection, we will do morphological identification as the first measure to identify the factors. 
And then this identification will be further confirmed by using the ETS2 based molecular identification, which include in this process, for instance, like genome extraction and then PCR purification, sequencing data analysis. And then once we get the ETS2 sequence, we will then uh, do the bioinformatic uh, analysis and to confirm their identity by comparing it using uh, the gene bank database. And this ITS2 sequence, we can use it as a basis to construct the phylogenetic tree of our samples. Uh, from the morphological identification from the sampling site, we found there are two potential dengue factors. They are IDES IGFT and IDES albopictus. Uh, they can be differentiated by uh, looking at the white scale at the forehead of this mosquito. The IGFT, uh, you cannot see uh, clearly, uh, even it is almost a uh, no uh, white scale, and here in the albopictus, you can clearly see this white scale. Another feature was uh, this uh, mesopemeron uh, here in the side of the thorax between those two mosquitoes. Uh, further analysis, uh, after we have amplified uh, the ITS2, uh, we were successfully amplified the ITS2, and then we do the uh, purification as well as uh, further analyze uh, its sequence uh, from the sequencing uh, methods. We found that uh, the ITS2 sequence from uh, IDES IGFT uh, of Sumbersari Jember has 100% similarity with IDES IGFT from the gene band with access number ky 3 8241 8.1 from Sri Lanka. While uh, Ides albopictus uh, from our sample was closely related to Ides albopictus, isolated from the from northern Italy with the following uh, accession number, and the similarity uh, reached ninety four percent. If we see here, this is uh, our sample from Sumbersari. Uh, which closely related to uh, this from the Sri Lanka, and this is uh, our albopictus from Sumbersari, which was closely related to this sample from northern uh, Italy. Uh, from our results, uh, we can confirm, uh, we could conclude that morphological identification and DNA barcode based on its uh, ITS2 sequence uh, of IDES IGFT as well as IDES uh, albopictus uh, confirm that uh, this factor identity is the same. So between morphological and molecular based analysis, they are relevant each other. Further that has to be discussed is that ITS2 from the IDES IGFT as well as IDES albopictus seems to be geographically widely distributed and conserved. As we can see in our result that uh, our sample has 100% uh, similarity with the one from Sri Lanka and the other one is al our albopictus has a high similarity with the one from uh, the Italy which, the, which, which were uh, really uh, far away in terms of geographical uh, location. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm looking forward to a constructive uh, feedback. Thank you very much.